Hey guys, Catherine here. I am outside today because I want to show you the first beekeeping video I'm going to do. Um, I've had a couple of dead outs over the winter and I need to clean them out for the spring so I can get ready to put more bees in here. And uh, the first beekeeping, be be beekeeping video should probably just always be... That's really rocking a lot. The wind is... Just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> Nothing I can do about that. <clears throat> the first beekeeping video is always uh, probably should be the anatomy of the hive. So this is also a good opportunity to show you the whole, all parts of the hive, because I'm gonna be going through it all. Um, so let's stand up, put some gloves on, because it's gonna be all propolized inside, and well, that glove's ruined. Just a second. There we go. Gloves on because I don't need my fingers sticking together. And let's pull this hive apart. We're going to be going from the top down. The first part of the hive is the outer cover. This, because I keep in 10 Frank Langstroth hives, is a telescoping outer cover. It, by telescoping it means it's got a frame all the way around so that it hangs down over all sides of the hive. Not small. <laughs> Next thing is an inner cover. You notice all that brown? That's all propolis. Uh, bees stick everything down with it. That's the inner cover. It's to keep the bees sticking down, or from sticking down the outer cover so that you can lift it off. Now, I had some sugar, a block of sugar on here for feeding over the winter, and they didn't eat all of it. So I'm going to set that aside because it's going to get tossed. And now we're down to the top box. I left a medium box on uh, my hives for the winter uh, because I didn't see any point in taking it. It was still full. I didn't, you know, extract the honey from it. Um, and there is still capped honey in here. But we're gonna take, we're gonna, <clears throat> should've brought my hive tool over. There we go. I'm not the most organized beekeeper. This is a J-hook hive tool. J-hook. I'm gonna pop the box off. There we go. There we are. Like I said, everything is stuck down. Lift the box. Ooh, that's heavy. And set it over here. That's got to be a good... Hmm. 30 pounds, 40 pounds maybe. Yeah, probably closer to 40. And just pull out a couple of frames and see what I've got. Okay. So this is a medium super, the one that I just pulled off here. It's got frames inside. And if I can get them loose enough, I'll be able to pull them out and show them to you. There we go. That should lift if I can get my hook underneath it. There we go. And these our frames just still full of honey. They're still full. I mean, the uncapped cells don't have anything in them. They've been cleaned out. And I did scrape this a little bit when I was pulling it, so there's a little bit of exposed honey, but that's fully cured. And it's all still full. So... 
set that aside. This is a frame that wasn't fully drawn out. I'm using foundationless because I'm lazy and it's easy. Just sorting through. I think it was humidity that got them. I'm not 100% on that. Yeah, look, still capped, full of honey. Both sides. I'm gonna have to, I don't know what. I'm gonna have to wrap this up. Anyway. Come on, you. I'll wrap this until I get bees back in here who can defend it, and then I'll put it back on them to feed them. Yeah. Capped honey all the way across both sides. <sighs> Alright, there's a little bit of uncapped, but I think, yeah, there's a little bit of uncapped there, but those look like chews cap, chewed caps, so they had to have chewed those caps. Um, I think it was, I think it was moisture that got them. I think it was too moist in the hive and then there was enough, like we had a very sudden cold spell, fully capped honey. Anyway, we're getting close. This is the very beginning of March right now. You see that? Got some dead bees. See if we can't. Should I? Here we go. I'll move it back over here. You'll be able to see it better over here anyway. Um, yep, so I am just placing the frames back into the box now because I think I'm just going to store them in the box. I just have to seal it up. And I'm thinking a, a plastic bag should let me seal it up just fine. Dead bee. Capped honey. They hadn't moved up into this box yet. Not entirely drawn frame. Capped honey. I mean, I've got a couple up here, but the majority of the hive is going to be in the next box down, I think. Alright. Aha. Uh -huh. So there's not any stored in here, but it's also not really fully drawn out. It's mostly drawn to this side, which is a significant amount of capped honey, but also like not fully drawn either. And last frame. Mostly drawn, capped honey. couple of earwigs because I've left this off for a couple of months and haven't done anything with it. That's fine. 
All right. Put everything back together. Go on to the next box, which should be less honey, but more bees. That's going to be the easiest thing to do is just wrap the whole box in plastic. And now on to the next box. First frame is always the hardest. Once you get first frame out, it can turn out to be easier. Just gotta pull it out first. Come on, you. Okay. Oh, well, I broke that frame. Okay. I'm gonna have to fix that. gone all brittle in here. That broke off. Well, ah, fudge nuggets. Good thing there's no bees in here. Cap honey. Well, no live bees anyway. Dead brood. Where did I put? Ah, there we go. No, just regular brood. Okay. Well, anyway, I've got a deep box and then a deep box and then a screen, screened bottom board. I'm going to have to continue cleaning this out, but I'm not going to continue filming it. Um, I'm going to have to set this aside. don't know what I'm going to do with it since it's broken. We shall see. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye.